after perform putting these people under arrest. When a soldier or a police officer tries to do anything to you, what at that particular point in time that police officer or that soldier has vacated their oath. What that means is at the very point when they when they try to do something on behalf of a corporation, they stop being a, per, per, a peacekeeping officer. All soldiers on this planet, all police officers, all police men and women are peacekeeping officers. And when they perform something for a corporation, they are actually vacated their oath. At this point, at this point, whether they are pointing a gun at you or scared of you or being very polite, irrespective, that is not a peacekeeping officer or a man in uniform. It has vacated it. The creature has yet to take off the uniform. But because he keeps the uniform on, the general public believes he's still under his oath. He is not. When a police officer does something for a corporation, like check your pockets or try to confiscate or question you, he has vacated his position as a peace officer. At this point, he is at the most vulnerable position because he is not a peace officer. He is not a peacekeeping position or she. They are a private security guard and a private security guard cannot interfere with you. They have no powers of arrest unless they get your permission. Unless they say you understand. So at this point, he is at the most vulnerable. This is when their flesh and blood is revealed as being the most vulnerable and their uniform and their guns cannot protect them. At this point, you tell them you have vacated your, uh, your peacekeeping officer's oath. Okay, as a result, you are now in your private capacity because they're now a private per man or a woman. You're a private person operating as a mercenary on this land, trying to privatize me. That means they're trying to practice piracy on you. At that point, you can now put the, that man who's practicing piracy under arrest by using these words. You are under the penalty of perjury as a man or a woman, not the uniform. And since you are now performing the wishes, sorry, performing those things of a corporation on upon a physical man or physical woman, you have vacated your oath of office and you are now practicing terrorism on this live life claimant of this native man, never use the word person or individual, this man, this woman on Tara Australis, on the United States of American soil, on the territory.